All right, ooh, it flashed on and off the screen very quickly. Did you catch it? I think you already know what you're watching, though, because you clicked on the title, right? Kirishima. The Ozeki taking on Maiga Shira for Takanosho. We haven't really talked a lot about Takanosho this tournament so far, but he is uh, obviously going to be fighting quite a few of the guys ranked above him. Kirishima at 5 and 2. Uh, tied right now with Takakesho for the best record among the Ozeki at the moment. And uh, one off the pace, if he wins, of the leaders, Takayasu and Atami Fuji. So in a, in a very good place to be. Um, both Atami Fuji and Takayasu will find themselves brought up the Bonsuke to fight much higher ranked wrestlers in week two if they continue to win. Um, you know, the possibility of them having to fight an Ozeki uh, opponent is, especially for Takayasu, is high. Uh, Takanosho is currently 3-4, and four, so he is uh, struggling a bit, but uh, could even out. Has he fought anybody? He's fought Kotonowaka and Daesho. Those are both Sekewake. He fought Hokuto Fuji. Yeah, so this is his first Ozeki. Uh, but they're not making him fight a bunch in a row. Tomorrow, Takanosho has Ryuden. So, uh, what else? Let's see what else is coming up on day nine. Why we watch these guys get ready. Kotonowaka has Hoshoru in the final match of the day. That's a fun matchup. Kirishima on camera now has Ura tomorrow. Takakesho has Gonoyama. That should be a fun one. Gonoyama won today and is currently 6-2. and two. Wakamoto Haru Daesho, the Sekewake Clash. Nishikigi vs. Hokuto Fuji, that should be a fun one. Abi, Tobizaru, and then into the regular ranks, we have Shodai Meisei, Asanoyama, Tamawashi. Uh, like I said, Ryuden, Takanosho, and let's see who are... Takayasu as Koto Eiko. So, Koto Eiko's 2 and 6, so Takayasu should get that. Atami Fuji has Kin Bozan, who's currently 5 and 3. So those are some of the matches uh, to look forward to on day nine. Again, I'll have full coverage because it's a holiday tomorrow. And I will be home on the couch watching sumo. Got to go out at some point tomorrow and see sunshine and, and <laughs> pay some bills. Often you pay your bills here in Japan at the convenience store. You take the bill in, they scan the little barcode, it says the money, and you hand the cash to the counter person and they stamp it with a special stamp and you have paid your bill. So that's how I pay my water bill, my electricity, my internet bill, um, things like that, right there at the local 7-Eleven. Um, Got to go do that tomorrow, maybe do some grocery shopping, because I pretty much come right home after work every day, as you guys know, uh, Tuesday through Friday, because I'm racing home to get home in time to put up some sumo. So I don't have time to stop by the grocery store on my way home or anything like that. Um, so, yeah, the, the two weeks that Sumo is on, it's like my life kind of alters <laughs> for, you know, trying to get the coverage up and keep abreast of what's happening and answer comments and, you know, all that stuff. So I do appreciate everybody that's gone by the tip jar. Um, I do want to try to spend some time tomorrow thanking all the people that have gone by PayPal. PayPal tips are still very much appreciated. The link is in the final match of the day because that money comes in in American money. And that helps me pay stateside bills. And, uh, you know, with the exchange right now, it is really helpful. So uh, if you'd like to send a tip at the end of the tournament or anywhere along the way, $2, $5, $10, whatever you think is appropriate, uh, there is a link, and I very much appreciate it. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and, uh, yeah, and then the channel memberships. Now, the channel memberships, uh, I'm, I'll talk about it in the next video. We're having a special mid show members-only chat tonight. So I'll, I'll mention that again in the Hoshoru versus Ura match. So if you're a channel member, uh, stay tuned to find out about that. But I already sent them a message via the members-only community tab. And so a lot of them know about it and are hopefully going to come by tonight. And uh, at least my tonight. It'll be very early in the morning for North America. And uh, have a chat about sumo. Okay, here we go with this one.
低くいきまして霧島出ていく高野翔下がっていく押し出しました高野翔です霧島3回目見分けなんですよね自信満々に自信満々を果たしていきましょうかもう<笑>、はい、アクション解説お願いしますあっさりと気持ちが飛んでいってしまいました、はい、ただいまの気持ちは突き出し突き出しでも気持ちの左手ですよね<笑> I think that has to be considered an upset,、uh, given you know, the ranks and the record.、Uh, Kirishima losing there to Takanosho. So Takanosho evens out at four and four, and Kirishima now at five and three. And you have to remember that Kirishima,、uh, although he's been wrestling well and, and seemed to be on, on track, he does need to get his eight. So if、uh, things start to go wrong here in the second week, and he's obviously going to have to fight the other two Ozeki. At the end of the second week, so he's got some tough matches coming up, but he has to get eight or he will be demoted to Sekewake. So he needs to win three out of his next seven,、um, which is, you know, I think very doable、um, to maintain his Ozeki status. Okay, come on back. Ura versus Hosho. Oh, wait, we're going to get one more replay. Solid win for Takanosho. There's no. Kimboshi,、uh, you know, gold star victories because there's no Yokozuna to beat. But my guess is on the NHK broadcast, Takanosho was brought into the interview room to be interviewed about beating an Ozeki. And、uh, these guys have fought each other a few times before in the past. I don't, I don't know what their head to head is. But、uh, on his way up, Kiribayama, now Kirishima, fought Takanosho many times, I'm sure. So, okay, come on back. More to come.